Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video. And as y'all can tell by the title and of course the thumbnail, we have a new wig, y'all. So of course, I'm super, super excited. She is on my head, y'all. I have a lot to say about her, a lot. So um, anyway, before we get too involved in what the wig is all about, I want to give a huge shout out to ebonyline.com for sending me this unit to do a review on. Y'all already know how I feel. Highly, highly, and always appreciated over here. Thank you very much. So um, yeah. Also, y'all, if y'all have not subscribed to my makeup channel, I do a lot of makeup. I love makeup. Let's just say that. And I have a channel called Beast by Phoebe. Definitely go over there and subscribe if you like makeup looks like this. I did record this one. I use Fashion Fair. The new makeup, I'm pretty sure, especially my old school girls, y'all don't heard of Fashion Fair. So let's go over there and talk about Fashion Fair. But anyway, let's get into what this wig is all about, y'all. So... This one right here is what she is looking like. This is what Louis is looking like on the stock card. I have this one in the color FS1B30, and this is from Zuri Sis. So um, this is one of their newer units, and they are talking about the main part right here, this thin top, lay flat style situation. I have the T on it, y'all. So um, I don't want to make this video too long, so let's just jump right on into this wig review.
y'all so this is what miss lewis is looking like and i think she's really pretty y'all this is definitely my type of style i'm a fan of her y'all i have a lot of good things to say about her hardly any cons in my opinion so let's just jump into it so first of all y'all already know the style I personally like the fair faucet type of flips when it comes to my hairstyles. I know some people don't, especially when we have the fair faucet, faucet flips and it's a little bit straighter. I like it though. This is just my type of style, y'all. Y'all know I don't like the big, 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 super big hair. And this right here, straight and loose curl, is definitely my type of look. So um, I'm all the way here for that. So the main thing that Zuri says is talking about is this thin top situation so of course i deliberately not put any heat on this wig on purpose obviously because it's supposed to already be flat and thin up there for us and i think they did an awesome job with it y'all it's really flat i did not have to put the heat on it at all if i didn't want to now she is a, she's sitting a little higher right here higher than what i would usually like but i'm not mad at it it's not too bad so i'm not complaining y'all so I think they came through with the thin top, lay flat style situation. Um, they also say, of course, this is a natural pressed texture. So this is definitely mimicking natural hair, 4B, 4C type of hair if you blow it out. If you have any luck blowing it out, y'all already know. I think I mentioned it to y'all in my last video that I have a hard time getting my stuff to look good anyway. I don't know what it is, but this is what it will look like if I was successful at getting it blown out. I like this yakky type of texture. And um, this one right here is a FS1B30. They did a great job on the color. I like it. I like this. I love the bang situation. I love the density on it. It's not too thick or thin. I think this is a believable density when it comes to the density. Lint is nice, y'all. She's feeling really, really soft. And I'm not mad at her. Period. Like, <laughs> I'm not mad at her at all. I didn't put her in the middle. But as you can see, we can shift it to the middle if we wanted to. I wasn't here for it, so um, I didn't care for that middle part situation on me, but this is on my right side. I prefer the left. I wasn't successful at putting it on the left side, but that's okay. Y'all know me. If I like a wig, I'll wear it on either side. It don't matter to me. But basically, this is really, really nice, y'all. I don't even really have a con for this wig, to be honest with y'all. I'm sitting up here thinking, and I just don't have one. I just don't have one, y'all. And I even saw a little bit of pre blockation which I don't see on the stock card. I don't see anything about them giving us that. And I feel like we did get a little bit of pre blockation Of course, she is not ear to ear. I don't know if that's a con for y'all, but it's definitely not for me because I was just able to go ahead and maneuver my edges in with the wig. And I was good to go. So right now, y'all, to be honest, I don't have a con. If I think of one later, maybe I'll update y'all. But right now, I think this one is a win. So it's pretty good to me. The only thing I can tell y'all when it comes to the tangling and shedding situation, I didn't get any shedding at all, and I did get some snags here and there, but for the most part, it's really nothing to complain about, in my opinion. So um, let's talk about the price. As for the price, you can go on ebonyline.com right now and find this one for $37.99 and a $2 upcharge for the specialty color. So to me, in my opinion, she's not super high, and she's not cheap cheap, but... $37 is not bad for this wig in my opinion. I think she's really, really nice and a win in my opinion. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Please like, subscribe, and of course, comment. Let me know what y'all think about this unit. Would you get her? Are you going to get her? I think this is a good one. Y'all already know my opinion. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, and I will see y'all in my next one.